here though. We're here at the gate of India. Hey, we're here, we're at the gate of India. This guy just took us here, he agreed on a price. Now he's trying to overcharge us. Taxi guy, bro. Look at this guy. Let's go. Gotcha. Hey. Cheese. Right, the selfie madness begins. Selfies going crazy. Everybody wants a selfie. You guys already know. If they, I'd love if they all subscribe to my YouTube channel. If they did, I might have a million subscribers. All right. That's wild. See this guy, Chris. Good thing Chris is tall. We can find him easy peasy. I'm easy to find. Blonde, red shirt. Chris is tall. He's got crazy hair. So easy, easy to find. Hello, how are you? Good. Want to be on my video? This is my new girlfriend, you guys. Nice. Hello, big balloon, big balloon. Hello, sir. Hey. Beautiful. Oh, it smells very nice. Oh, no, it's okay. Yo, tie it for me, bro, so I get a nice video. Look at this. Right. He's gonna bring me some good luck. Some beautiful honey. Thank you so much. You helped me some food. I don't need money. The lady didn't want money. She wanted food for just us to give her food, but I do not have any food, so all I have is money. I don't carry around food at me. See, he's getting more photo requests than us, bro. Kevin, when you're done with that, wrap this for me. Selfie too. Thank you. Wild over here at the gate of, gate of India. Look at this. Selfie after selfie. <laughs> Chris thought he wouldn't be asked to take any pictures because he's not because he's not white. But uh, surprise, surprise, Kevin's getting most of the attention today. This is beautiful. Look at all these people. Everything's lively, nice. I love to see it. That lady was saying they don't let poor people in the store. They don't let them buy stuff, which is. Sounds crazy to me. Look at this beautiful, beautiful tree right there. Wow. This is the line for selfies right here. Hey, this is the line for selfies. I'm on YouTube, you guys. Check me out on YouTube, Tarzan Travels. All right. You guys want one selfie? I didn't need to get the Look at thumbnail right there. You guys can hear me because I'm holding the camera with no uh, no tripod. But here we got this nice Indian street food. Trying it for the first time. Chris, give it a nice try. Mm. It's nice, right? Mm. Hands are dirty. All right, so I have to do it. It's really good. It's got a bit of a strong flavor. But... Okay, uh, where do I put it? Mm. Oh my god. That's really, really good. I wish I had a hand to hold this, but I got a beer here. Wow, thank you. It's in here. Oh my god. Fucking good, bro. It's really good. Bro, you want to cry this water? Mm. Bro. No, no, wait. I, I want to record real quick. Oh, no, I, I just drank right. mine. It's real spicy. I'm not going to lie. I I think, oh, my God. I think, the spice hits I think my, my nose. Uh, I think my taste buds are either. pussy. You think I, think, it? I think my taste buds are fucking <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I've been thinking that I need, pussy, the, I need the spicier food, and Chris is like, it's so oh, spicy. Oh, eating like that. Ready? Let me see it. It's interesting. It's got a really interesting flavor, like kind of like a weird egg flavor or something, right? This guy just goes non-stop, non-stop. 
He never stops. You think he's gonna stop? He doesn't. He just keeps giving these out. He just sells them all day long. Fuck, bro. Yo. What do you think? Good. Yeah, so good, but it's too spicy, bro. Eat some it, food. Bro. Look at this. Look at this. I don't think it's that spicy. It's delicious, but that's my little street look food review. You already know what's Yo, up. Like and subscribe. This. Here, look at this beautiful flute display. Here, right by the gate of India. What's your name, bro? Raz, if you come to come to the gate of India, you need to buy some fruit from this guy. He's got the best fruit around. Look at that. Dragon fruit, pineapple, papaya, mango, mango, pineapple. everything you want, everything you want, right here by the gate of India. Amazing, bro. Listen, if you're here in India, one thing you need to learn is you cannot have any respect for the vehicles. Watch this. I mean, I'm not gonna walk directly in front of a moving vehicle, but like, more or less, like I'm gonna just go like this. Like, let's just stop this right there. Wow. You need to have no respect for vehicles, otherwise you're just never gonna get across this. Or you'll get ran fuck over. Yeah, if you're like, oh, 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 I'm so scared, they're just gonna hit you. So you need to just, just walk, and they'll respect because they, they give the people who walk the right away. So you just gotta make sure you walk confidently. Try not to get hit. Obviously, don't walk right in front of a car. But if there's any kind of space, just walk, just walk, just walk, and they'll slam on their brakes. Phenomenal. It really is. Everything about it is so good. It's not spicy, but uh, not spicy for sure. Pussy ass American. No, pussy ass Americans just say I don't like. Spicy. Thank you. Thank That's you. a fact. He admits it's a spicy and just still eats it like a champ. And the food is so, so good, bro. Yeah, facts. Pussy American would say this is spicy and not fucking eat a bite. Yeah. That's a good point. Not gonna lie, that's a very good point. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my food. It's absolutely delicious. Every bit, the butter chip, everything is absolutely phenomenal. So this place is great. It's called Paris Cafe. So check it out. Really, really good food here. As you can see, the club was great vibes. That's why I could not have expected what happened next. You never expect to go from Bruno Mars to bar fighting, but unfortunately, that's what happened this night. Nothing against India or the Indian people. You guys were amazing. This could have happened anywhere. Unfortunately, it happened on my friend's first day in India. So here's the story, right? So after this clip, maybe about 10 minutes later, we were all still dancing, having a good time. I ended up meeting a girl and going to go dance with her, right? So as I was talking to this girl, all was going well. I get a tap on the shoulder from my friend Chris about 10 minutes after that. And I know my friend Chris is not a troublemaker, so I was so surprised. He taps me on my shoulder. He was like, dude, these guys are trying to fight me, right? I see a group, maybe like four guys coming at us, especially this one guy in the front. Somebody's trying to hold him back, and he just throws the guy off and starts coming right at me. So I knew this guy was just about to hit me, so I just did what I had to do. I leaned back, and I hit him with a left jab, and then an overhand right, and he covered up and started going backwards. And I just went into survival mode. I seen the whole club open up, and I just remember hitting this guy and hitting this guy, and until eventually he disappeared into the crowd. And then I just looked back, and my friend Chris was covered in blood. Apparently, when I started fighting the first guy, one of his friends grabbed a bottle and smashed Chris over the head from the side. So Chris went down, and the guy still tried to come at him. He kicked the guy in the knee, he jumped up, he hit the guy two times, the guy went down and he scattered into the crowd as well. The reason this fight started was crazy and there were literally other witnesses to confirm this. Chris literally just made a heart symbol at a girl sitting alone and just like, like waved her over like, hey, you want to come dance? Never touching her or anything. And these four guys just started coming over to him. He said, hey, chill, chill, like no, need, no reason to fight, calm down. And they just still kept coming. Even though it was definitely a night out gone wrong, we definitely were not mad at India and it did not ruin my friend Chris's first day. We actually felt a real sense of camaraderie fighting together is the first time we've ever been in a bar fight and the first time we've ever been in a fight together. So after it was all said and done, we weren't even mad, not even at the guys. We felt like we got a win because they only hit Chris with a the bottle, they didn't get any other hits off and he ended up getting his hits back. So we felt like a win. Wasn't a terrible night, but definitely a night out gone wrong. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more content and crazy stories like this.